Unit circle with domain. To check your answer, make sure it's in the correct quadrant between 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. The first problem is cosine equals 41 over 56. To do inverse cosine, you have to type the second button on your calculator and then cosine. The inverse cosine would still be 41 over 56. Problem B, sine of 9 over 13. Find the inverse sine of 9 over 13 and punch it into your calculator. You're going to get your first answer in quadrant run, and then subtract that answer from pi to find your answer in quadrant 2. Problem C, cosine of negative 22 divided by 37. Type in the inverse cosine of negative 22 divided by 37, and your answer will be in quadrant 2. Take this answer and subtract it from 2 pi to find your second answer located in quadrant 3. Sine of negative 3 divided by 7. Find the inverse sine of negative 3 divided by 7. Multiply that answer by negative 1. Subtract it from 2 pi. Save that answer, the previous answer, into your calculator and add that to pi. Problem E. Treat cosine as x to, and isolate it on one side of the equation. Subtract 65 from 41 and then divide it by 22. Cosine equals negative 24 divided by 22. But this is not possible because cosine has to be between negative 1 and positive 1. For problem 2a, we start the problem with a new domain, and it's pi to 2 pi. So our answers can only be in the quadrant 3 or in quadrant 4. After you isolate cosine, you get negative 14 divided by 32. The inverse cosine is 2.024, which is in quadrant 2, and is not possible because it is not within the given domain. So your answer would be 4.260 after you subtract the original answer from 2 pi.
For problem B, the new domain is pi over 2 to pi. So after you isolate sine by itself, you get sine equals 12 divided by 42. Once you type this in your calculator as inverse sine of 12 divided by 42, your answer is in quadrant 1. Take this answer and subtract it from pi. For problem C, the new domain is 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. This is in quadrants 3 and 4. Once you isolate cosine, you get cosine equals 115 over 120. Type this into your calculator as inverse cosine, and your first answer is in quadrant 1. Take this answer and subtract it from 2 pi to get your answer in quadrant 4. For problem D, after you isolate sine, you should get sine equals 30 over negative 37. Once you type the inverse of 30 divided by negative 37 into your calculator, multiply it by negative 1 to make it positive. Then take this number and add it to pi to make it in the correct domain restriction between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. In quadrant 3. For problem E, don't forget to isolate cosine and make sure your answer is within the correct domain restriction, which is 0 to 2 pi. Pause the video and we'll tell you the answer after you're done working. Your answers should be 0.144 and 6.139. For problem F, don't forget to isolate sine and make sure your answer is in the correct domain. Pause the video and we'll tell you the answer when you're finished working. Your calculator should have given you a domain error and your answer should be not possible. Okay guys, that's it for Unit Circle with Domain. This is by Chloe and Emma. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask Mr. Reader for help. Thanks for watching.